Hey friends, welcome back to Llama Mama Kayla's Yarn Tube. I'm Kayla, and I want to say thank you for stopping by for a visit today. I love visiting with you all, and I appreciate you coming over for a visit. So, <laughs> right on cue, right on cue. Come on, little girl. <laughs> she just cracks me up when she hears me start talking. She just comes running, no matter what. But, um, so anyway, I, we have gotten so much rain, and I know this came from Dallas area also, so all you guys over there probably got drenched too. Um, we've had so much rain, it's like flooded everywhere. I mean, it's not going to stay, it's going to drain on off, but it's just so much rain in such a short time, it flooded um, streets, parking lots, um, the road to our house is underwater in like three different places, so it is, it's bad out there right now, but it is draining, so it'll drain on off. The, the road, the water on our road will flow onto Lafouche Bayou, so, um, and it's low at the moment, so it can take on the water, but yeah, it is just flooded everywhere out there, um, even getting on and off of the interstate right close to my house is flooded, like really deep flooded. Cars were stalling out, so yeah. Well, Phoebe, <laughs> you're going to look behind us? <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, it's just so much water out there it's everywhere. I, I'm not sure exactly how much rain we got, but it was a lot of rain in a short period of time. And I know other places got probably the same because it was just so much rain coming through. <laughs> and I know ours came from um, Texas, so everybody that way, which I got a hair in my mouth, everybody the um, west of us got tons of rain. And I guess that rain was headed on the east. I'm not sure exactly where it was headed, but it's coming if it hadn't reached you yet. <laughs> But even our yard is just so flooded. It's just crazy. But anyway, my son Elijah and I finally went on to town because I had to go to town and get some things done. And so we did. We went to, um, I went to the dentist. I, I'm, I mean, I don't, I haven't really shared this, but I'm going to go ahead and share it today. I have several, um, chronic illnesses that, uh, that affect different parts of my body, but I have three things going against me with my mouth. And so, um, I throw up daily. Sorry, I know that's kind of too much information and graphic there, but I do have that issue where I throw up daily. Um, lots of days, it's multiple times a day, but, um, that acid from your stomach and all that, that affects my mouth. And then um, it's really hard on your teeth in general, you know. And then I have uh, sojourns, which makes my mouth super dry, which is also horrible on your teeth. And then I have scleroderma, which is shrinking my mouth. Yeah. It's shrinking my lips. Like, I don't know if y'all can tell, but I can. It's um, And my lips feel so tight, like... Just so tight I can tell they're shrinking it's also shrinking my gums inside my mouth it's just shrinking and kind of shriveling up and that's affecting my teeth and everything so I have a lot going on but I did go and see the dentist today and uh, we talked about some options and I'm going back um, I think in two weeks on the 8th I think of September I go back and we're gonna um, do some do talk about some more options today really was an appointment it was just a um hey i saw you before and i need to come back and see you again because i need you know to take care of this issue i'm having and so i go back then and have to go over my medical stuff and get my doctor my doctor to sign off that i can have dental work done and so that's coming up and then um then we'll go from there but so um gonna have a bumpy road there getting some stuff done <laughs> 
But anyway, we did go and speak with the dentist, and then we went to Dollar Tree. Okay, then my son was like, where else do you need to go? And I said, well, I want to go to Dollar Tree, but I don't want to go to the one right here, because we were right by Dollar Tree. <laughs> he said, which one do you want to go to? I said, the one out North Monroe. And he's like, way out there? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> So he took me out there, and so I got some things that I needed, and then I, after I got back home and I looked through my book, I saw some things that I should have got and didn't get, so I'm going to see if Big Daddy will end up taking me back out there um, one day soon, not, not tomorrow, or not today, but one day soon. Anyway, um, and then, oh. Then we had to go all the way to Big Daddy's work, and he works like 45 minutes to an hour drive away from our home, but that man, that man, that man, he, the night before, he had gave Elijah his bank card and sent him to town, and then when Elijah came back, he gave him his bank card, and that was the end of it. Okay, so then late last night, really really late after big daddy had went to bed and elijah had came to let his dogs go out one last time before he went to bed um i said hey did you give um daddy his card back and he said well, yeah why wouldn't i and i said well it's not that i think thought you wouldn't i just wanted to make sure he had it you know in case he needs gas tomorrow so he's like yeah i gave it to him so i was like okay and then um Sure enough, that man, he didn't put it in his wallet. He left it at home. And so he was low on gas, and he didn't think he was going to make it to work. So he was, like, freaking out on his way to work, <laughs> thinking he was going to run out of gas. And then um, he made it to work. So then he's like, well, I made it, um, so no hurry now, because he was wanting, like, the bank card brought to him, meet him at a gas station or whatever. And, um, but uh, the whole time he's trying to get in touch with us, we're asleep, so we don't know that. And so, <laughs> so anyway, then after we had run our, rent to the dentist and went to Dollar Tree, it was time for, almost time for Big Day to get off work. So we had to bookie it over to that town and, um, meet him. Well, actually, I got out of the truck with Elijah and got in the truck with Big Daddy and Elijah followed us to the gas station just to make sure we made it so he could um, fill up and then Elijah went on and done whatever he did and <laughs> me and Big Daddy went uptown to do um, to get me something that I need <laughs> and I'll tell you all about that later because it's already eight minutes okay guys um so I was watching Jennifer at Cinnamon Stitches and she showed some sunflower coasters that she made. Um, it's a pattern by Jada and Stitches. And so I looked in my fair book. I already knew that there was coasters in here. And you had to do a, um, a set of six. I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not laying my eyes on it right this moment. But there's a um, category in here for coasters. And um, it's you have to do a set of six coasters, okay? I'm still not laying my eyes on it, but I guess that doesn't matter. I know it's in here. <laughs> so um, I, I already knew that I needed coasters, but I hadn't looked up um, a pattern yet. And so I saw that Jennifer had done those coasters and they were really really cute here it is coasters a set of six and this is under the category of other fancy handiwork no not not handy handwork <laughs> other fancy handwork a coasters a set of six and so i was like yeah i can do that and so she showed her sunflower coasters and um, so did they were Jada and Stitches pattern. And I was like, yes, I'm going to make those because those are so cute. And Cinnamon Stitches is also making um, placemats. I'm already working on placemats. I already have something going on for that. So 
Um, I'm not going to do placemats of it, but I think that's an adorable idea. And who knows, I might do that in the future. But I made my six coasters. Aren't these beautiful? Like, those are really beautiful. And they're a good size um, for a coffee cup or a glass of tea or whatever. They're a really good size. Okay, um, and I did make... Let's see, I have three and three, so I have six. <laughs> and um, something else that Jennifer at Cinnamon Stitches is doing with hers, she was making a hand towel and putting one in like the bottom corner of the hand towel. I need to do that because my bathroom is in sunflowers. Yes, so... Um, I've got to make that, right? <laughs> I've got to make a hand towel. I have a hand towel in there that I did crochet. It's yellow and gray, but I definitely need to do one with like off-white or something and then put this on the hand towel. So I'm sorry, Jennifer, but I am going to have to copy you on that. <laughs> Just like I copied you on this, I'm going to have to copy you on that hand towel. I'm going to have to do it. Um, because it would go perfect in my bathroom. Who knows? I could just do the whole bathroom up like this. Be like in the 70s. we we'll crocheted everything. <laughs> oh, goodness. I could see a, a toilet seat cover. <laughs> Not really. I wouldn't do that. But it could be done. It could be. Um, so on these right here, I used, let me show y'all what I used. First off, let me just tell you about the pattern. It is so awesome. It's very simple, very simple. You make one with Jada, you get the gist of it, and you make that, and then you make this, and you don't have to look at the pattern anymore. you got it in your head, and you know what to do, and you can make the other five just easily. Now, I made three of these at home. And I made three of these in the truck with Elijah yesterday. So they're very easy to make up. Um, you, you know, if you, if you crochet in the car, very easily done. I had this little bucket right here with me. And I um, just put my stuff and some scissors in there and went, you know, went off with it. But it is really, really simple, easy pattern. Um, they work up super quick. Like, it takes no time to do these, really. Um, I mean, it might take 30 minutes to do one, seriously. Well, I know it takes about 30, 40 minutes. I can watch an episode, and w while I'm watching one episode, I can complete one. So, yeah. All right, I used sugar and cream. I believe this is goldenrod. Let me double check that. Yep, it's goldenrod. Um, Lily Sugar and Cream. And that is cotton yarn. Um, and I did use a five millimeter hook. I think it was a five or was that a 5.5? It's whatever Jada called for. I believe it was a five. I'm pretty sure it was a five. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's what I used for my outer flower. And then for the inside of the flower, I don't know if you've noticed that it's kind of variegated there. There are different shades of brown. And it's just kind of random how that happens. Um, it's not anything that's planned. It just come, They come out just a little bit. Each one's just a little bit different there in the center. So I like that because I don't like things that are the same. I like everything to be different. I like for everybody to be different and all the things to be different. <laughs> um, so this is a Lily Sugar and Cream. Mm, well, I got it upside down. <laughs> Terra, Terra Prima. I believe 
Terra Prime, Terra Prime. Not really sure. I was trying to read it upside down so that tells you how well I can see. But anyway, it is a variegated brown. Um, I don't even know where or why I picked this up, but I had it in my stash, my cotton stash, and it was perfect for the inside of a sunflower. But um, yeah, I don't know where I picked it up from, but it is, um, there I go, I'm trying to read it upside down again. <laughs> I need to be going to the eye doctor, don't I? I'm going to hold it up there. I don't know if you can see or if it's focusing well enough. But anyway, that's what I used. And I think those two together worked up perfect for these. I love these. And um, one day I might go back and do the... Um, placemats because I tell you what I don't know if Dollar Tree has them right now but this summer they've had sunflower plates glasses bowls the whole sunflower thing I loved them but I didn't get any because I already have a stack of plates um, that we don't even use because nobody wants to wash them we use paper plates <laughs> because I'm not washing dishes Big Daddy's not washing dishes. Elijah's not even here to wash dishes, so we use paper plates. And I have a whole cabinet full of plates. Big Daddy said the cabinet's going to fall off the wall with that many plates in it. So, um, and I do have the lemon plates that came from Dollar Tree. Just about that whole stack of plates. I have some red ones that came from Dollar Tree, some turquoise ones, um, some lemon ones that came from Dollar Tree. Um, there's a flower pattern that did not come from Dollar Tree. They came from Walmart many, many years ago. Um, but, I mean, I have several different sets of plates in there. Like, we could have a, um, we could have everyone over and everybody would have a plate. <laughs> and in this, um, buffet behind me, I'm not sure how much you can see that, but there is a buffet right here behind me. Um, and it's doors on the bottom and in there I have my chicken plates I have a whole set of chicken dishes that I bought one piece at a time for about a year I mean seriously every payday I was going and I would get a plate and then when I got all my plates I think I have an eight piece setting of that I got bowls and then I got um some different um a big bowl for serving and different things like that but I got those at Pier 1 which we do not even have anymore they shut down I guess during the pandemic maybe they shut down and moved off so we don't have that anymore but I had was in there buying a wedding gift one time several years ago it's been quite a few years ago and I was buying a wedding gift for someone and I saw those chicken plates and I had to have them. Let me see if I can even grab one right here because I know they're right inside this door. Yep. They're dirty because they're they're dusty. This is my chicken plates. So I love these chicken plates and I have a whole set. I have a huge salad bowl and a serving tray and several different things that go with these chicken plates. So um I love those. And yeah, it I was looking to see, but it does, you know, they did come from Pier One. But anyway, that is my beloved chicken plates. Something broke, but it was a cup. Anyway, I guess I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> but anyway, guys. Um, oh, but that was saying, so they had the sunflower dishes all summer long, but I didn't buy them because I didn't need them. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you just have to use common sense and say, I know they're only a dollar, but you don't need them. <laughs> 
so I didn't buy the sunflower plates, but they would look really nice on a table with these as sunflower um, placemats, and then these um, coasters also. That would be very beautiful. All right, guys, I have rambled and just run my mouth. <laughs> But I'm going to let you all get going, and I hope you have a wonderful day, no matter whether it's sunshine or raining cats and dogs. I hope you have a beautiful day to crochet. Bye, friends.